Hey, what's up, Sparkers? So today I'm going to do a demonstration uh, or a run through of the new feature they added. So today's iOS update has a new self recording feature, which is pretty cool. Um, and I also just saw right now with the update that they changed the name of the SAMP. This used to be 5150, and now it looks like it's the insane. Uh, so that's good to know. It looks the same otherwise. Uh, I just saw this difference here. I don't see, oh, that one, is that one different? I'll have to go through that later, but uh, that's a pretty funny, funny, th funny thing to pick up. But anyways, I'm gonna do, this is a little, gonna be a little bit meta uh, because I'm gonna be, I'm taking a video of myself taking a video. Uh, but anyway, let's see how this works. Um, I haven't actually done this yet. I, I did tap on this guy and I went through a little bit of a wizard on you know how it kind of works uh, or what it is, uh, but anyway, let's t let's jump right into it. Check it out. So it's a little camera icon down there. It's a it's a fourth icon. There used to be only three. And hey, there I am. Uh, so let's uh, let's see how this works. So there's a couple of features right off the bat here. Obviously, this this uh, X is going to close it out. This is going to start the recording, and then you can switch the camera to the back camera or the front one. Uh, looks like you can add music, but I'll, I'll, I won't do that first. Let's just start by recording, and it gives you a little tap-in counter there. So let's see. Let's see what happens when we stop it. All right, so that looks cool. A little preview here. Let's play it. So that's it's playing through my Spark right now, because that's the uh, speaker I have set up for this iPad. So audio came out okay. All right, and so it, it's gonna just keep looping. It looks like, and uh, there's a little trimmer down here. So let's see. I can let's see if I can edit it here. I can move this guy around. Let's double tap it. That doesn't do anything. Okay, I can I can trim off the beginning there, or I can trim it back. It looks like same thing with that side, um, and I can discard it if I don't like that take. Uh, but let's save it. Let's see what happens when we save it. Privacy for photos. Okay, let's see what this does. It looks like it's going to want to save it to my uh, photos. So I'm going to just say select photos for now, and there we go. That's saved in there uh, okay so we got this little share option here share the video with hashtags show everyone your awesome guitar playing this is probably going to bring up like facebook okay yeah so this is the typical share interface from your ios device so i can you know i could go right to facebook there and, and pop that in uh but i'll just i'll just cancel out of that for now and we'll say done and so yeah it looks like that's it's now saved as uh one of my videos in my photos that's pretty cool. Let's try this add music feature. Uh, import your own music files. Let's see what happens there. Okay. This must have been a recording I had done a while ago. Let's see what happens. Well, it doesn't seem to want to import that guy. Any of these, really. Oops. Hold it down. Oh, that's not working either. I wonder if I just tap it. No. Huh. All right. Let's cancel out of that. Let's try it again. Let's see if we can do... Okay, so you must, uh, you'll have to have a, a local file of your own on here. I think I could probably do this from my Google Drive because I do have some stuff in there. But I would have to move some files around to get that to work. So that's interesting. I, I wonder if that just works as a backing track or what. Um, so anyway, I'll, we'll have to play with that a little bit later. But it's pretty cool that it has a built in feature to, to record yourself. So. All right, so I went ahead and uh, pulled in a, an audio file onto my iPad so I can uh, kind of just show you that feature as well real quick. So we're going to pop back into this guy 
and let's do add music again um, and let's do well, I'm gonna clear that out and then do import so you just have to have uh, downloaded a, a music file to your and save to your files whether you do that from you know your Google Drive or just from the internet somewhere or what have you uh, you know just sta save a copy of that file um, so I'm gonna select this this file that I that I have and I'll do import and, and it shows here and I can actually trim it if I want so let's just trim that a little bit um, I can preview it so that's uh, that's cool and then we'll just say use and then now you'll see a little time signature down here so this is uh, how long that audio file is that I imported so I can actually create a video now sitting on top of that audio file so let's go ahead and play that I'll grab the guitar over here. So, yeah, I won't play the whole song there, but that uh, that gives you the idea. Um, so, uh, that, there's the preview of it, right? Uh, so that's kind of cool. You can you can import songs uh, that already exist and play along with the audio, um, and you can do a little bit of editing here. You can preview it. Uh, you can trim it. You know that sort of a thing. Um, I can discard that version, right? I, don't, I didn't like the way that came out, and I can, you know, do it all over again. Um, you can flip the camera around. I showed that earlier. And then let's see what this guy does here. Oh, clear. So I can clear out the music that I've imported, and I can re-add music there. So anyway, that's that's a little bit more about how the play along with the, or the recording, rather, of yourself is. This is really great, because a lot of people you know, wanted ways to, to easily take videos of themselves. Uh, so yeah, this is a pretty awesome feature. Um, so uh, I'll take a look at some of the other changes in the app and maybe do another video around that. But uh, yeah, hopefully this is a, a good uh, feature addition and people get get some use out of it. So thanks guys, see ya.